us um, today. Really appreciate it. And I also want to thank you and your staff for coming out to my district and meeting with so many of our farmers. Um, I just met with some of them earlier this week and they continue to comment about how much they appreciate you coming out and, um, and talking with them. Um, as you know, I introduced a bill last Congress that was the basis for the SNAP um, employment and training program, pilot programs that were in the Farm Bill. And the end result was the $200 million program um, that you have started. Um, Washington State has had a fa fantastic success with ENT program, and it's helped participants achieve self-sufficiency. Um, and a part of the criteria we wrote for awarding these programs was making sure that we had folks like um, the programs in Washington that Washington State put in place in mind. I wondered if you could comment on the breadth of the various proposals that are moving forward right now and any impact you see on ENT going forward. It's a three-year program and we're in the process of, of uh, ensuring uh, prompt implementation. Uh, to the 10 pilot projects basically are looking at different aspects. There are some aspects that are looking at how additional assistance and financial assistance might allow for transition uh, into a job so that you don't lose benefits. Some are looking at ways in which those who face barriers, uh, transportation barriers, uh, for example, could be assisted. Others are uh, looking at ways in which uh, folks could be trained for the jobs that are actually existing in an improved economy so that they can uh, take advantage of those new job opportunities. Uh, some are taking a look at uh, ways in which the veterans uh, can be assisted and helped. So it is a broad spectrum here. We're trying to identify best practices so that those best practices can then be implemented in all 50 states so we do a much better job of using the resources that are being provided. The sad reality today still is that states don't use all of the 50-50 money uh, in terms of the employment and training. They're happy to use the 100 percent federal money. But when, they, when it goes to putting a little skin in the game, fewer, fewer states than we would like uh, are willing to do that. And we do you know what we could do to incentivize folks to do more there? Well, you, you, I think you can say that it's a joint responsibility, uh, and it's in our best interest to put people to work uh, in jobs that matter, uh, and it's in our best interest and their best interest to try to get them to a point where they don't need as much assistance. But, but states are dealing with you know, their budget challenges as well. Uh, and this is uh, unfortunately not as high a priority for some states as it, as it, as it ought to be in our view. Thank you. Um, moving to a different subject, um, last year's fire season was one of the worst of recent memory for the Pacific Northwest. Um, we have to end fire borrowing. And each time this happens, the Forest Service ends up transferring uh, many funds away that are used to help um, maintain our forests. And you've been an outspoken supporter of the Wildfire Disaster Funding Act, and which I and, and many other parties have co-sponsored. Um, we know how badly this reform is needed. And so I just wondered from your perspective, what do we need to get, do to get past the stalemate and move forward? Well, I don't intend to transfer the monies. We spent 62 percent of our budget last year fighting fires. This is a problem that everybody in Congress understands needs to be fixed. It just needs to get done. Uh, and the reality is by not getting it done, we're robbing uh, opportunity, we're robbing, we're reducing job opportunities, we're making it difficult for mills to stay in existence, we're making it difficult for people to enjoy the force uh, in the way in which I think all of us would want them to enjoy. Uh, we've bailed them out, we bail folks out year after year after year, so I've instructed the Forest Service to do what they can to spend the money uh, in the hopes that Congress, either uh, you all have appropriated the right amount, but if you haven't, you need to fix this problem. We are not a fire department. We are a forest service. Well, thank you. I agree with you. I think we need to fix this problem soon. I appreciate your help in doing that. Um, one last quick question. Um, one issue that was brought up when you visited my district was the lack of crop insurance for aquaculture. And I know your staff recently met with one of the tribal chairmen from my district who asked that question. And I just want to ask for your commitment to continue working with, with us to ensure that um, this very critical and overlooked as aspect of our agriculture system is protected in the future. We are, and it's very consistent with the fact that in this administration we've expanded the number of crop insurance products or number of crops covered by crop insurance, and we've also significantly improved uh, the reimbursement levels for some of our high-value specialty crops. Thank you. Um, I yield back, Mr. Chair. The lady yields back. Uh, Mr. Goodlatte, five minutes. 